I am just a figment of your imagination. Believe it or not, action figures once wore a quick crown, this children's expansion of imagination. Some say the kids who once held them dear grew up and moved on. Others would tell you that the electronic gadgets moved in and chased action figures off. There's one thing for certain. We could tell where they once stood because after they left, there was a big hole. Mattel noticed a decline in interest. Mattel's Masters of the Universe offerings that children politely declined or turned away altogether. The action figure aisles still had strong but sparse other lines. They moved out and aisles were almost dried up. Electronics made its move and action figure lines tried adapting. It wasn't noticeable then, but looking back, you can see what was happening. Then one day a lawman appeared. Mattel's next attempt was 1986's Brave Star, a character from the 24th century. Old West was going to meet sci-fi, taking place on a planet called New Texas. Marshal John Brave Star, the last survivor of his planet. He'd be back by his friends, of course, but also with an ability to call on nature for help. He would help those that were not quite ready for a fight and operating from Fort Curium. Brave Star came with a removable vest, a trans freezer rifle, a nugget of curium, and a neutral laser pistol holstered on his hip, and an action lever for quick draw action feature. Yes! After all these months, it's finally mine! Not so fast, Sandstorm. I'll take that. Well, looky here, if it isn't little shave too far. Go on now, hand it over, Sandstorm. Why should I give this to you? Let's just call it paying off your debt. Whatever do you mean? Oh, I'm thinking of a certain saloon urinal, the wall above it. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm, really? Let me see if I can quote what I saw written on the wall. Lice in a sock. Tears of the dolt. Ah, besides law, you're taking up poetry. <laughs> None of that sounded familiar? How about... Smells like a bar. Strength of the tuna. Oh, I guess that could be me. But you're not getting this curium nugget. You're gonna have to take it from me. What's it gonna be? This figure line was highly detailed, articulated and colorful, and backed by a filmation cartoon where he was a Native American sporting a ponytail. Mattel had launched Brave Star Toys in 1986. The filmation space western that Mattel had based their figures off of and so hoped would stock the fire of their boys' line of toys again only ran from September 1987 to February 1988. With what appeared to be a lack of interest, Mattel decided not to release Series 2 of its action figures for Brave Star. Filmation Studios itself would finally fold in 1989. Also in 1989, Mattel would attempt to revamp Masters of the Universe and call it He-Man. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. Catch you later on down the curve.